even more beautiful first thing in the morning. Although, I'm not sure how I feel about this armor. It's a little bit form-fitting? Although I suppose I did go around in that Thalmor armor for at least a little while. I don't really want to leave. But... Duty calls. <laughs> you can't even see it from here, never mind. Ugh. I really shouldn't look directly into the sun like that. It's gonna give me a headache. I mean, I already have one, but it's gonna give me a bigger headache. Just kind of in a mood to insult the Thalmor today, I think. Hmm. Besides, if I'm gonna figure out how to kill Alduin, I might as well do it in this armor, right? It seems to have been foretold. Okay. I'm gonna put that on. I don't usually carry it these days, but I'm not leaving my old armor here. Ooh! I can't tell if it's dusty in here or if that's just my eyes. I think it may well be just dusty. <laughs> I did look in here first. I'm not gonna take anything though. I think I'll leave that for... Ugh. Yeah, my eyes are doing strange things. Um... Oh, okay. Well, I didn't really intend to go down that way, but here we are. Just in case more Forsworn came in here while I was away. Uh... Never mind, I think that's an orc. Yep. I wonder what she's doing in here. Wow, that's bright.
Huh? Okay. I guess it's not just my eyes doing weird things. mud crab. I'm just gonna leave it. Did I kill this guy? No, he's... He's been dead longer than that, okay. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna see how fast I can get to White Run, I guess. Whoa. A saber cat? Guess so. I'll just let them get on with their business then. Okay, now I know I'm going mad. It's that orc again. Is that? I didn't. I 
I didn't see that on the way in. Okay. Like maybe maybe that hag raven got to me a bit more than I thought. Oh no, don't tell me. I do not need a dragon right now. be out here killing random wildlife that's not oh gods all right now if my brain would give me a break Patrol down there, and a bunch of Forsworn, of course. I don't need to deal with you, I've got a dragon to kill. Yo, oh, okay. That's a big one. That's how you kill a dragon. Dead then? Uh huh. That's really dead. And looks like something else is too. I'm gonna get going. Okay.
Just realized that dragon had a name. I suppose they all do. I just don't know most of them. Okay, I don't need my shield out while I'm in White Run. I wonder if Yarnfeet is around. No offense, but you're not looking so good. Are you feeling ill? Uh huh. Yeah, maybe a little. Let me guess. They're saying it's because of this trouble with the storm. Oh God, so much noise. Exactly. Got a pretty full cool stock of potions and alchemy reagents. That's good. I'm gonna cut you off at the pass. You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's not. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. Actually, it's brain rot. I think. I think. It's something for sure. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. I mean... Not really. I'm gonna... Grab a couple, just in case. Thanks. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. I will. <sighs> I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. Do let me know if I can be of service. Do you? happen to know of any ailment that would cause you to have eh, never mind you'll find tonics salves poultices and potions on my shelves browse to your heart's content I would but I've got to be somewhere I've got to be all sorts of places hi John well met traveler I kind of like him. Although, he's... I'm not sure he's my type. I'm not... Ooh, that's a good point. Oh. I'm gonna say I'm not sure I'm his type. Let me go take care of that. Before I do anything else. Oop, excuse me. Watch the skies, traveler. <laughs> you too. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red went riding to White Run from Old Iverstead. That's not how it goes. God, it's this fog, though. Oh, we're gonna get weather. Yes, we are. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved swords. <laughs> I am a warrior from Hammerfell, but thanks. And I'm sure my father would have words to say about that. Words like, a daughter of mine is going to be a warrior. All right. I have a feeling. Actually, I'm, I have a feeling I should probably stop and eat something. I've been on the road since. Ugh. Since. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Good enough. Potatoes and cheese. Not my usual fare, but whatever. And I'm going to need this. I just have a feeling. <gasps> See how fast I can get up this mountain, eh? Hi, goat. Ooh, excuse me. Nah. 
I'm gonna wear my voice out doing that, but whatever. It's fun. So much nicer now that I don't have my brain falling out of my ears. And suddenly I can run like I've never been able to run before. I am confused. Hello, Wolf. <laughs> I'm not sure where all this wind came from, but I'll take it. Need a straight shot? Ooh. This is wearing me out. <laughs> ah. I can't believe that worked. Ah, oh, my throat. No frost rolls. I don't remember when I came down last time. Ah, no! I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Oh, come on. Hold. Ah! Ah! Maybe next time. Wow. <laughs> you ever just get struck with something so beautiful you might cry? Sometimes I feel like... Like I'm missing something. I'm never sure what it is, but... When I see... Things like that, I have those moments of... Just... Being overwhelmed by how beautiful everything is. Or maybe I'm just hungry, I'm not sure which. But up here, I feel a little bit less like I'm missing something. Oh, I didn't talk to Clemic. Ah, my way down, I guess. It's nice and warm in here. Now then. 
Where might the old man be? round table. Interesting. Ah, there everybody is. There is everybody. I'm sorry. Grammar. Can't speak common or... Anyway. Hi. Wind. Got you. Alright, um, this may come as an odd request, but I need to learn the shout that the ancient tongues used to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Well, if my armor doesn't give it away, I'll let you make your assumptions on your own, but it was recorded on Alduin's wall. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bound. They have always sought to turn the dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you I, learned I didn't... nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? I didn't mean anything by it. I just... I mean... They're helping me. I think. I'm not trying to be their puppet or anything, I'm just... They had knowledge that I needed. No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Sorry. Um. So, can you teach me this shout? No. I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. You don't it is know called it. Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. Understood. But if the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin? Only Parthenax. The master of our order can answer that question, if he so chooses. Okay. Who is Parthenax? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. Okay. Why haven't I met him yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. Oh. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Okay, so... How do I get to the top of the mountain, then? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Okay. Give me just a second. I'll be with you... in a bit. Ugh, I ran myself out on the way up here. Ooh. Sorry, I didn't mean to get... Never mind. Oh, wow. doesn't bother me much anymore, but that looks painful. This looks quite nice. 
Wow. Look at that sky. The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. I will grant you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Okay. Wind guide me, I guess. Why am I doing this at night? I have no idea. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Look. Oof. Okay. Ouch. Yeah. Note to self. Mind the fog. Look. Oh. Wow. I did that. That's... I don't know what to think about that. just about to say, if I keep him backed up against that cliff, he won't be able to do his thing. Not that it matters much. The fog does enough on its own. You can see the path, though. And a dragon skeleton? This shouting thing, for sure. I don't think I've done this... Yeah. Ouch, this often. Look. At any point... Since learning... Got to tie up! Learning that... I'm Dragonborn. Goat, you're gonna get frozen. <laughs> or maybe I will. Gosh, there's like no air up here. Look! 
And the goat's still alive. That's one hearty goat. Spirit goat, maybe? <laughs> Kain is leading me by way of sheep or something. Oh. Are we almost there, goat? What do you think? I'm getting all lightheaded. I can't breathe up here. Whew. I think I'd have been used to it after so much time in Skyrim, but nope. Little old me grew up next to the sea. This is something else. No. Oh. So much for that goat. A wall. Now where's... Really? Ah, I don't need another one. Drem Yolok. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Um... I wasn't expecting you to be a dragon. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovahkiin. Uh-huh. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I... Need to learn the shout that the blades used. The blades? The tongues. The ancient tongues. Used to defeat Alduin. I think it was called Dragonrend? Can you teach it to me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. Oh? By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. What is the air Hear doing? my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it, if you are Dovahkiin. <laughs> the word calls you. Go to it. Parthenax? Are you blind? You are, aren't you? I have spoken. The Rotmulag waits. A gift, Dovahkiin. You'll understand fire as the Dove do. <laughs> oh. Now, show me what you can do. Greet me not as mortal, but as Dova. Yo! I. <laughs> ah, yes, Sosedo Vrostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. You know, when the Greybeards do it... So, you have made your different. way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sos, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Can you teach me Dragonrend? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would 
not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. I mean, I could come up here and talk with you if you wanted, but... The Greybeards didn't want me to come at all. Hmm, yes. They are very protective of me, Bachlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Why not? Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Uh, how can I learn it then? I mean... Who, who am I going to learn it from? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? So that I can stop Alduin. I like this world. I don't want it to end. There's too much beauty in it for him to just... Swoop in and destroy everything. Prusa has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Yes. I would. This world is my world. It's our world. I'm here to save it, so the next one's just gonna have to take care of itself. Pause. A fair answer. Rolfus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. I hope not. <laughs> Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? Uh, I never really thought about it, actually. Although, I can't imagine you would be living down there among... Have you been alive this whole time? This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Using the dragon wrench out, right? Mm, yes and no. Viknuzni Karon. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. That's fair. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Oak Mulag Unslad. 
It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Wait. You mean the ancient Nords sent Alduin forward in time using an Elder Scroll? Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. May ye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day, he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. How does any of this help me? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. <laughs> you could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Ah. Uh, you mean go back in time or see back in time? I suppose it doesn't matter. You know where I could find an Elder Scroll? Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Ah, oh, that figures. I suppose either Esbern or Orngir might have some idea. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. <laughs> What does the Dragon Red shout actually do? I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. Oh. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. Okay, and once I find the Elder Scroll, what do I do with it? Return it here to the Tid Ahran. Then, Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Tid Ahran will allow you a. A seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no dragon rend in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Wuth Fadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleth, Feldir. Haken, Gormleth? And Feldir. Who were they? The first mortals that I taught the Thum. The first tongues. The leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. Oh. They were mighty in their day. Even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrot Hun. The Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. Wow. Okay. I think I got all that. Drem your look. Greetings. Look through. You too, Parthenax. 
<laughs> Thank you for sharing. This is the time loop, isn't it? Oh yeah. I probably shouldn't stand here too long, huh? I want to get back down- I need to get back down the mountain, but I want to- I want to get all the way to the top. I just have this... This silly urge. To see exactly what's up here. And just to say I've climbed to the top of Skyrim's tallest mountain. Because why not? Oh wow. There's a pickaxe and a What are you? Huh. Dawn Fang, huh? Well, I'm gonna hold on to it. Eek. Okay. Okay, now I've got to be careful. Just because I can. Look, <laughs> Although that didn't really do much, but I. Uh... Sorry, random pickaxe. I should probably get back down and go to sleep now. <laughs> wow. Bragging rights, if nothing else. Who in Skyrim? Well, who else in Skyrim, I suppose? Is it dawn already? Oh, gods, wow. Alright. Who else in Skyrim can claim? have climbed all the way up the throat of the world. 